Hi students, we all know remembering steps of porphyria, especially remembering each and every intermediates as well as the enzyme is a daunting task if you are just going it through the first time, right? Well, in today's video, I'll be giving you an easy mnemonic by which you can remember not only the intermediates but also the enzymes and the diseases. So these are the steps of porphyria and believe me, you do not need to stress and remember the sequence in a complicated way because very soon I'll be telling you the exact way how you can easily remember it. So first, succinyl coenzyme A and glycine unites to form delta amino levulinic acid also known as ALA, right? Then it forms porphyrinogen, hydroxymethylbilane, uroporphyrinogen 3, coproporphyrinogen 3, protoporphyrinogen 9, protoporphyrin 9 and heme so many products okay well you do not need to remember the cyclic structure at all but you can choose to remember and it is here for you now how you can easily remember this with the help of a mnemonic well you just remember jadu ki jhapki from munna bhai mbbs if you're from india and you know in general when a doctor hugs patient they actually heal them so the mnemonic goes like this some good doctors prefer hugs under cover produces perfect healing okay so some good doctors prefer hugs undercover they want to uh, hide from everyone okay. privately produces perfect healing so you can match now the names succinyl coenzyme a glycine delta amino levulinic acid that is ala porphobilinogen hugs hydroxymethylbilane then uroporphyrinogen 3 coproporphyrinogen 3 protoporphyrinogen 9 protoporphyrin 9 and lastly heme all right so you can take a screenshot you can choose to remember and you can help them remember with the help of these images all right more the merrier next what are the enzymes the enzymes are ala synthase ala dehydratase hmb that is hydroxymethylbilin synthase uroporphyrinogen synthase uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase coproporphyrinogen oxidase protoporphyrinogen oxidase ferrochilatase how you can remember them well Another mnemonic, Aunt Alice has unusually useful crafting powers, friends. So it's about Aunt Alice performing a magic trick, right? So then you can now sing Ala synthase, Ala dehydratase, hydroxymethylvalent synthase, uroporphyrogen synthase, uroporphyrogen decarboxylase, C for coproporphyrogen oxidase, protoporphyrogen oxidase, and lastly ferrochilatase. Well, you have to remember these names. But these mnemonics will help you how you can remember them in sequence. All right. And lastly, we go on to the diseases. So the diseases that are caused sequentially by the deficiency of these enzymes are acute intermittent porphyria, congenital erythropoietic porphyria, porphyria cutanea tarda, hereditary coproporphyria, variegate protoporphyria, and hereditary protoporphyria. So this protoporphyria variegata is also known as variegate. So the Mnemonic which syncs with them are all congenital porphyrias have variable presentation. So all congenital porphyrias have variable presentation. All right. So the, because this protoporphyria is also known as, I mean, hereditary protoporphyria is also simply known as protoporphyria. So I hope the, these three mnemonics have really helped you or will really help you to remember the heme synthesis sequence and then you can answer all multiple choice questions easily in any type of examination. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please share this video to your friends who are in medical science, who are preparing for exam or your batchmates because you want to remember if something you forget on the day of exam, right? So making sure everybody knows the same thing helps you a lot. Well, I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, bye and take care.